NASA shuts down live feed as something massive shows up at the International Space Station. Let's check it out. Drop the a thumbs up. The International Space Station is one of the most impressive things we've built. For thousands of years, early humans would have looked up to the sky and wondered what was up there. Man, it would have been absolutely crazy to see something like that in reality when we didn't have that much light pollution and pollution, right? Fast forward and humans have reached a point where we've been able to place an advanced laboratory above our planet. Now you just cannot even see any stars. Giving researchers and scientists the opportunity to conduct important tests in a non-gravity environment. Helping us to understand things like what these sorts of surroundings do to the human body, and how we can overcome them. These types of tests are important as scientists and businessmen are looking at colonizing other planets. When do you think we can colonize? Uh, 2020, uh, I believe 2030? 2025 was given like a date, but I feel like that by 2020, uh, 2050, I think, that's when we can see a lot more. With Mars being the one that's currently being eyed up for human colonization. It's incredible to think that within many of our lifetimes, we could see humans walk on other planets. Yeah. Something that only a few years ago seemed impossible. Man, stuff like that is truly fascinating. NASA said the following about the International Space Station on their website. The space station is Earth's only microgravity laboratory. This football field sized platform hosts a plethora of science and technology experiments that are continuously being conducted by crew members. Or Man, I personally want to see this be a reality where in our lifetimes we can actually you know, just like how we would take plane to travel around the world. I hope that space shuttle or something like that, a rocket maybe, it becomes like, you know, just like how you would pay like a thousand bucks. Uh, nowadays, flight prices are really expensive right now. But I really hope that stuff like that opens up for the public as well, where we can travel in space. All are automated. Research aboard the orbiting laboratory holds benefits for life back on Earth, as well as for future space exploration. The space station serves as a testbed for technologies and allows us to study the impacts of long-term spaceflight to humans, supporting NASA's mission to push human presence further into space. End quote. Mm. There's others <clears throat> though who state that there's more going on around the International Space Station than what we're being told about, and this has yeah. to do with the countless unidentified flying objects in close to the ISS. Although NASA have said that these objects are nothing more than space debris, and that every single mega lol man, yeah, this is space debris, right? One of these have been explained by NASA scientists. There's a group of people who believe that the International Space Station often gets visited by UFOs, and that these crafts are not space debris as explained by scientists. This in turn has caused various UFO researchers to watch. That could that is mad. You imagine you're an astronaut, right? You're just outside of the Earth's orbit, you got the entire planet beneath you, right? You're in the space shuttle doing, or, or space station. You're doing what you're told to do. You're just trying to live and breathe. And all of a sudden, you see like a UFO right around you. Just, you know, sitting still, maybe going bim, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bim. Just moving around you. And that could be a terrifying and fascinating experience at the same time. Just the life feeds in the hopes of catching one of these crabs. Interestingly, going back in 2015, yeah. a mysterious object was seen close to one of the International Space Station cameras. I've seen this before. It immediately before. caused theorists online to question what this giant object was. A UFO researcher by the name of Toby Lump was watching the live stream when he noticed a large object come into view. Thinking on the spot, he quickly took a screenshot of the object. Yeah, boom, there we go. Every time, every time, just guys, like, don't make it this obvious. Please stand by. The high definition Earth viewing experiment is either switching cameras or we are experiencing a temporary loss of signal. And it was like I mean, he did, as it was said, the live stream quickly dropped once this object came into view. UFO researchers who watched the live cameras have said this is a common occurrence. Yeah. This has caused researchers to say this is the links officials will go to to keep us from knowing the truth. Uh, I think there could be two reasons, but why do you think they're hiding this stuff from the public? I think, number one, it's because they probably think the public cannot handle, because if you really think about it, 
having a conversation about something like that with some people it's baffling it's hard just try to have it with your friends some would like nah i don't believe it some would be like yeah i believe it but eh, it's whatever most of your friends are bots that's it's it's facts okay it's fact most people would just ignore that they wouldn't even want to have a conversation i'm not saying to believe in stuff like that blindly i'm not saying that if you have a belief that you that you think that stuff like that doesn't exist that's perfectly fine by me but to be able to get down to a point where you cannot even talk about stuff like that openly and you're con you're all this i'm triggered i'm triggered how dare you talk to me like that or why are you talking about that i mean that's just a definition of a bot I genuinely think one of the reason is because they they don't want to tell you is because they cannot tell the mass public because the public will freak out. Secondly, it could be about technology. I do believe if that US and other countries have possessed some alien technology and they're working on reverse engineering it, right? And if they were to come out publicly and tell that, yeah, they have captured technology, I mean, recently though, that's actually wild. Now that I think about it, Pentagon actually did say that they have captured vehicles, unearthly vehicles from other places, other planets. They did actually confirm that officially as well, which is kind of wild, but I, d I do think that one of the massive reasons could be is because if they make that public if they tell what exactly they have they would be in competition with china and russia they don't want other ones other countries to get ahead and vice versa multiple Even reasons have an open mind on the subject have said it's strange when the life he drops when one of these objects comes into view and if anything it doesn't help nasa as it only causes theories to run wild some news stations tried to reach out to nasa and get their comments on what they thought the object was but they reported that they never got an answer from the space agency. Of course. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is one of the more well-known photographs of an alleged UFO seen close to the space station. With believers saying that the craft in question shows a large triangular object. A craft that is well known in UFO circles as being one of the most commonly sighted UFOs. Man, that's fascinating. It doesn't even look like an object, right? It, you see that's like transparent here. You got these lines as well. I mean, damn, man. These crafts are described as being able to hover in the sky without making a sound. And when they need to leave the area, they do so at an extremely high speed. Researchers debate who these crafts belong to. With some saying that they are the new stealth line currently used by the military. Well, some say this can't be the case as some of these crafts have been seen close to the moon. One skeptic, however, said the following about the object. Although at first glance this does look like a UFO, I think the more likely answer here is that we're looking at a glitch. There's been many times when I've been- That's another argument, right? Because what if stuff like that- I do believe in UFOs, right? But I also want to be bringing in another perspective. And I'm not- I don't want to be alien to that perspective, no pun intended. But imagine like stuff like that. Imagine this was actually a glitch. I know! Yeah crazy to think about that right imagine this was a glitch and the reason they shut it down is because they don't want people to think it's ufos it can be a ufo but you never know is what i'm saying right because now the cat is out of the bag they shut the the stream down so surely that would cause a lot of suspicion and whatever they say even i'm not gonna buy the fact that this is a glitch even i'm not buying that but what if right between the live cams and i've seen something strange However, this doesn't mean we should all jump straight to UFOs. There's so many other things it could be. For example, meteors that are entering the Earth's atmosphere. Lights True. from the International Space Station itself. Nah, debatable, Space but okay. and other natural explanations. People have and will always want to believe in aliens. Yeah. At one point I was one of them. But the truth is we have no proof that UFOs are out there. As most I mean, bro, they officially confirmed that UFOs exist, though, so... Bumbaka! But click on this video on the screen. It's a banger. You want to continue the search? Let's find Alien Life. Click on it, subscribe, and I'll see you right there.